am really, really excited to be part of uh, this movement. The, that uh, labor movement that's willing to speak up for McDonald's orders. McDonald's orders. A labor movement in every major town in this country that is saying that cab drivers need to have a right. Even though they can't join our unions, they need to have a right. A labor movement that's fighting for domestic workers and day laborers in all over the place. So this is a time, I think, for all of us. A changing time to step up and change the direction. Change that chart that we always look at of the declining union membership and, and change that chart back up. The other way around. I'm gonna invite you to be provocative, aggressive, and really what you are, a voice for the movement that we all love. Because, you know, when I came here 30 years ago, I had this dream of America. I wanted to go to America because I wanted to be free. I wanted to go to America, I wanted to live my full potential. You know what that America I used to dream about? Did not deport a mother separating her from her kids. That America I dreamed about did not fire people because they want to have a voice at the workplace by organizing. But that is the America that we live in. You know what, the America I dreamed about did not have an expanded First, first Amendment right for corporations while denying it to call the coal miner in West Virginia and the car wash worker in Ireland. And we need to have that narrative out, that this is our country, this is our place, this is a place of freedom, and that freedom means to all of us. For the first time, the labor movement is honestly talking about, honestly talking about, why are our potential union members locked up in jail? We have twice as many prisoners in this country as does China. Are we freer than China? We have more black men locked up in jail now than they were under Jim Crow. Even when they come out of jail, they can't vote. When they come out of jail, they have a record. They are permanently disenfranchised from society. So for the first time, the labor movement is going to be dealing with that. This convention is going to be dealing with that. We can't deal with that without talking about drug policy. We can't, we can't deal with that without talking about profile. And this is an aggressive labor movement that Rich Tramka has a vision for. And it's going to take all of us, all of us to get out there. And if we succeed in doing that, I think I see an uptick, not a downtick, in our membership and in our growth. So thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for inviting me. I hope I was worth it. And if you have any questions, please ask.